Dangan, the homeworld of the Hellgast. A weak and ailing planet, ruled by a crumbling dictatorship. We go in, take out those loyal to the ruling party, and the people will rise up and do the rest. We'll be home in no time, and the Hellgast will threaten us no more. <laughs> At least that's what they tell us. Me, I'm a soldier, and I trust my instincts. And my instincts are telling me something's not right. Guess we'll find out soon enough. So we had this idea of a massive planetary invasion, and in Killzone 2 it's actually the first time that we're taking the war to the home planet of the Hellgast. You're outgunned, you're outnumbered, and the notion is that you never quite feel safe. In Killzone 2, the idea of war and the feeling of war is really all around you. It's the eyes of battle cruisers in the sky that remind you of the epic war that you're fighting on the planet. But it's also the small things like walking around Helgen Planet. And we try to really entrench this feeling of war in all the different elements. Immersion for Kills and 2 is really important for us. So we removed all the distractions, such as the HUD, for example, which always sits in between the player and the actual world. We wanted to make the player feel vulnerable. So we have a lot of things going on that make him feel that he's really there. Another thing we try to do is make the player feel physically connected to the world. There is this valve that you can turn and you use the six axis controller. That really makes the player feel more immersed. We've made everything first person. For example, helping a buddy up a higher area is in first person. If the player dies, the camera will fall over in first person. Because every time you pull out the camera and make a third person shot, it breaks the sense of immersion. The PlayStation 3 has allowed us to do much more complex things with the AI in Killzone 2. The Huggers will respond much more to the player's actions. They will jump over obstacles and hide behind cover. And if you shoot the cover, they will rethink what to do and make another plan. The hit response system in Killzone 2 has become one of the most important mechanics in the game. And to make that as realistic as possible, we spend a lot of time on making this system really work well. Whenever the player fires at an enemy in a certain situation, he will see a different response, which really adds to the variety of the game. We've invested a lot of time in our animation systems to get a good blend between physics-driven animations combined with mocap and hand-animated. And by doing that, we got this kind of really nice blend of viscerality to characters. So basically, if you shoot them, everything kind of moves realistically, and we put a lot of effort in that because it's so important. Every hit in our game has got to create a very dramatic impact. Uh, you see that in the environments through loads of destructibility, but also on the characters. There's a lot of variety in how your enemies react to your bullets, and that to us creates a very unique and innovative gameplay experience.